Hello. I'm going to talk about scientific writing management. And first of all, let me introduce this presentation and myself. I have created this presentation around 10 years ago, and since then I was updating it. However, let me uh, give you some disclaimers that the information provided in the presentation might be outdated somehow, or you can also find something that I have never experienced myself. Please feel free to explore what is scientific writing, what is scientific writing management, what is bibliography management yourself. Let me guide you through with all the knowledge I have. The outline of the presentation is as follows. The first part will be answering the question how to find the article, the article that you need in your research. Second part is about how to manage a lot of references. It might be a billion, but usually you deal with dozens or hundreds of references. Part three, how to automate your citing, how to automate your work in general. Part four, how to make your research visible. My personal opinion is that we write articles because we would like to share our findings with the other people. So writing an article is a way of communication. And perhaps the best way to, to get credit for that is when you go to a conference and then you talk to someone in person and this guy says, Vladislav, I've seen your article, it is brilliant, I liked your ideas. And then you feel that all you've done until now is indeed useful to someone. Today I will be talking mainly about one specific toolbox. Uh, which is it's a software called Zotero and it allows you to manage your references, to automate citing and then actually it also helps to make your research visible. Something about myself. Here on this picture I'm in the right corner sitting and the picture is taken in an old chemistry building and you can see uh, in the background, a lot of books. You see, we are in the library. Perhaps you have been in the library a week ago, maybe a month ago, maybe a year ago. Anyway, it is not so popular to go to a library anymore because we use software, we use computers to deal with scientific writing. And by the way, once again, my, my name is Vladislav Ivanishev. And whenever you have questions, you can write to me vi at ut.ee. When you're going to listen to this part one, part two, three, and four, you might find that not everything is useful for you. You might not wish to use all the tools I'm talking about. So consider this lecture as an introduction. I'm going to talk about all the options you have and then it's up to you to choose the one that will work for you. Okay? With this in mind, let's begin with part one. 